hello so in this uh, video uh, we will calculate the minimum delay from a to b and the transistor size of the gate to achieve this delay so question is estimate the minimum delay from a to b and select transistor size to achieve this delay okay so uh, the circuit is given here we have one two input nand gate here three three input nand gates two two input nor gates and you have uh, capacitor 45 and 45 and path you have to consider from a to b that is shown in the figure okay so we will start first let us find uh, the path logical effort so first one let us find path logical effort path logical effort that is g so that is nothing but pi g i so in this case first one the uh, logical effort of a two input nand gate so two input nand gate if you uh, consider so the path effort is nothing but 4 by 3 the input in input uh, the capacitance of an AND gate is 4 and when we compare to the inverter it is 4 by 3 and second one 3 input NAND gate we have its uh, logical effort is 5 by 3 and 2 input NOR gate again it is 5 by 3 so totally if you multiply this comes to be 100 divided by 27 okay now uh, let us calculate path electrical effort so next one path electrical effort electrical effort so that is nothing but h so formula tells the output capacitance divided by input capacitance so output capacitance is 45 input is 8 so this is h now we have to calculate uh, path branching effort so we have to calculate path branching effort that is b that is nothing but pi b i so uh, how many nodes we have to consider or how many nodes where we find branching so you can see one is this node you have to consider this node because there is there are three branches in this and this node also we have to consider okay so i need b1 and b2 so let us calculate first b1 i will write here b1 so b1 is the formula is simple on capacitance plus off capacitance divided by on capacitance so here in the branch how many capacitance we can have one is from this another from this and third one from this this is on capacitance and these two x's are off capacitance so together it is uh, x plus 2x divided by on capacitor on capacitor means x so it is uh, 3x by x so that is nothing but 3 similarly b2 we will consider so b2 means these two nor gate we have to consider total capacitance that is on plus off that is nothing but y plus y so it is y plus y and divided by on capacitance that is y okay so totally this will be 2 so your branching effort you have to consider is one is a 3 another one is 2 total value is 6 okay so hence path effort hence uh, hence uh, path effort path effort that is f is nothing but formula tells g b and h g we know that is 100 
by 27 and branch that is 6 and h is 45 by 8. So, if you calculate uh, this is nothing but 125 you will get 125. So, f also we have found. Now, what we have to find we know that the path delay can be minimized when each stage has equal effort. So, that is what the uh, formula tells. So, each path, each stage should have same effort then our path delay will be minimized. So, that is why best stage effort or each stage effort each or best or each stage also we can consider every stage best stage stage effort stage effort is nothing but we we, we have given name f cap that is nothing but capital f to the power of 1 by n so here n means number of stages so how many number of stages we have we have 1 2 and 3 three number of stages so that is nothing but 125 power of 1 by 3 so that is nothing but 5 okay so f cap we have found next one is path parasitic capacitance path parasitic parasitic capacitance uh, that is capital P uh, uh, how to calculate is that is summation P i so that means P 1 plus P 2 plus P 3 so we have to refer uh, the parasitic delay table from there we will find what is the parasitic capacitance for a 2 input NAND, 3 input NAND and 2, ni 2 input NOR. So, 2 input NAND the parasitic capacitance <coughs> is 2 and 3 input NAND it is 3 and 2 input NOR it is 2. So, total it will be 3 plus 2 5 plus 2 7. So, minimum path delay minimum path delay path delay is equal to that is d that is equal to n f cap plus p so n is 3 f cap is 5 and plus 7 so totally it is 22 22 okay or units of tau that is what uh, but it is under normalized delay only it is 22 so we have found the minimum path delay now the second question is after finding uh, minimum delay we have to also find transistor size we have to find okay so transistor size we have to find so f cap we have already calculated that is 5 that means each stage should have effort equal to 5 so effort definition is the f cap should be 5 or f cap is also equal to g i into h i each stage you can consider it can be g 1 h 1 g 2 h 2 g 3 h 3 ok. So, everywhere it is uh, same now let us first calculate uh, c third stage input capacitance third stage input capacitance that means this one third third gate is nor gate its size we will find so formula tells we will write formula tells it is nothing but uh, g3 into h3 equal to 5 so g3 we know h3 how to calculate h3 h3 is output capacitance that we already know that is 45 divided by input capacitance so input capacitance just we will refer input capacitance is y so it is 45 divided by y let me write that 45 divided by 5 equal to 5 okay uh, 
and g3 also we know g3 is a nand gate so nand gate its uh, three input nand gate effort is uh, logical effort is 5 by 3 so into 45 divided by 5 that gives y or Uh, sorry there is a mistake here uh, that is g3 into h3 we have to calculate this is not phi h3 is just refer the uh, circuit here h3 means the electrical effort of the third gate it is nothing but 45 we know correct divide by not phi divide by y this should be y so let me make that correction so this is uh, let me write once again okay so this is g3 g3 we know that is 5 by 3 and h3 h3 is nothing but 45 is the output capacitance input capacitance is y so totally the y is nothing but uh, 45 into 5 by 3 divided by 5 this is what y so that gives 15 that gives 15 okay then uh, so we have found nor gate uh, size nor gate size we have found that is this one next one is the nand gate so here what is the output capacitance of uh, what is the electrical effort of this gate output capacitance divided by input capacitance output capacitance is y input capacitance will be x so for this let us calculate now so it is g2 h2 is equal to 5 g2 that is the uh, three input nand gate logical effort is 5 by 3 what is h2 h2 is y divided by x y divided by x equal to 5 okay so here we know 5 by 3 into y value just now we calculated is 15 divide by x equal to 5 so here what happens x if we take here this will be 5 into 15 divided by 3 into 5 so ah sorry one uh, one minute here we have to consider we uh, the total capacitance when we consider total output capacitance see the total output capacitance when we consider here you have two branches here so it is not simply y by x it should be 2y by x or y plus y by x so this mistake we should not do it is not simply y by x it is y plus y you have one branch here another branch here so that one we have to uh, take care so that means here i have to modify this this is uh, not simply y it is y plus y so that means this uh, it is not simply 15 this is 15 Plus fifteen. Yes. Now here also we have to write fifteen plus uh, plus fifteen. Okay. So that will is five ones and three and this is thirty. So you have to ten. So totally x value is ten. Okay. Now the third one we have to find or uh, third one we can verify because. third one already input capacitance we already know we already know its size already know but we will verify with that formula but what is the output capacitance here output capacitance will be x plus x plus x divided by 8 so we will try that whether f cap is correct or wrong so f cap is equal to g1 h1 so what is g1 g1 is the Uh, electrical effort of two input nand gate that is 4 by 3 and h1 is you have x plus x plus x three branches divided by 8 you have so this if you calculate 4 by 3 uh, into x value we have found that is 10 so totally 10 plus 10 plus 10 that is 30 divided by 8 
so this uh, um, we have to find now see in how uh, what value we will get we will see so this means um, okay uh, so the, we will calculate this this is 3 ones are 3 10 and 4 ones are 4 twos are so 10 by 2 is 5 yes we have found f cap we have considered 5 only and we got here also 5 so this is checked now finally transistor size we have to find so transistor size so, so we have first one is a 2 input NOR gate and another one we have 3 input NAND gate and last one is 2 input NAND gate okay so what is the initial size is this one is 8 uh, and NAND gate 3 input NAND gate that is 3 input NAND gate let me check 3 input NAND gate is x x should be uh, what is the value x is 10 so x is 10 here and what about the 2 input NOR gate size that is nothing but uh, y and value of y is 15 y value of y is 15 50 okay so let us calculate the transistor size uh, first let us see the nor gate it is a two input nor gate so here we have two n mos they are connected to ground and p mos we have two in series okay so that is connected to a and b so let it be a b same this thing will come here also a b and what is the size so here since uh, pmos two pmos are in series so its size should be 4 and 4 and uh, n mos it should be 1 okay so totally it is n mos plus p mos if you want to consider the input capacitance from the p mos it is 4 4x we will get and the input 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 capacitance from the n mos it is 1x so this total ratio should be 15 this should be 15 that means 5x is 15 and x equal to 3 so transistor size uh, what we get is the size of the uh, size of the uh, size of the n size of the n is it is 3 and size of the p should be 4 times that is 12 so total capacitance is 15 okay that is the one next one we will consider NAND gate so let me uh, this one copy so next one is the three in, uh, three input NAND gate. So let me paste here three input NAND gate. So we know that three input uh, NAND gate. So <coughs> so in a three input uh, NAND gate, we will just uh, we will draw that three input NAND. So it is uh, three N MOS are in series, and here. one more gate and one more gate and here you have to uh, they are all in parallel okay so one input two input and third input let it be a b and c a b and c so here uh, this uh, since there are three in series this must be three three and three and here at the worst case only one pmos will be on so that will be the 2 so here it is 2 so total uh, so what we what we will get here in a 3 input NAND gate so so the ratio will be for each this one it is 2x plus 3x so that is equal to 10 so that means 5x is 10 so x will be 2 now uh, so the NMOS size 
nmos size will be three times the x that means it is six and pmos size will be two times the x that is uh, nothing but four so six plus four so total uh, capacitance it will be 10 only so so that comes to be uh, that is totally 10 now finally one we have that is uh, two input uh, NAND gate with the size 8 so two input NAND gate two input NAND gate size 8 so two input NAND gate means uh, two NMOS are in series and uh, two PMOS in parallel okay so this is A and this is B and this is A and B and the size here uh, this should be 2 and 2 and this also should be 2 and 2 so it is uh, uh, the size of this will be 2x plus 2x should be equal to 8 so x equal to uh, 2 so size of n mos is 2 times the x that is 4 and size of the p mos is also 2 times that is 4 so totally 4 plus 4 uh, 8 so this is the solution for this problem thank you